Well, if you come with me to the deep blue sea where the weather is fine and still, da ba ba da 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 ba da, with the adventures of Portland Dawn, da ba da 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 well, hello, my fantastic friends, coin collectors, and art lovers across the coin tube of us. It's me, Mazda Dan Temple. I do hope you're all okay. I do trust everything is fine in your in your little world. What we're going to do is a nice little seascape today, and these are the boats we're going to be painting. But not in this scene. We're going to paint them out at sea at night. These are the colours you'll need to paint along with me. So let's get into this. Now, it already looks like I've been working on this canvas, but I haven't really. It's just a black gesso canvas, and I've just added some colour in and around the canvas. Here and there, some greens, some blues, some reds, some crimsons, and I've just mushed them in any old how to give a, a general mess up on canvas. Anybody could have done this. So when we hit the canvas with a with the white and the fan brush, Oh, we're going to get some fantastic variations of colours. And we're just dabbing on, swirling on, waving on here and there. And like I said, we're going to do a nice little seascape out at sea at night where the lobster fishermen are, the crab fishermen are. I was recently in Norfolk. I love Norfolk. I've been, I've been there several times each year, every year, from as far back as I can remember. And I love the place. It's almost as nice as... It's beautiful Yorkshire, but not quite. That knows what I mean, folks. So all we're doing is blending out those little white sparkles in the sky with a dry brush and then mixing with the colours underneath to give us a variant of activity up in the sky. And we can keep coming on and reaffirming these clouds just like so. Just a bit of white paint on the fan brush. And you make friends with these brushes and they'll work for you. They really will. If, you, if you're afraid of them and you're scared of them and you don't know what to do with them, they won't work for you. You've just got to make friends with them. So with these clouds, we'll just swirl up the bottom, as we usually do. Swirl it up, dry brush, and fluff him up. Fluff him up. Just like so. And again on this one. Swirl out the bottom. Forgive the autofocus, guys. <laughs> Can't keep up with my hands. Usually happens in the sky, doesn't it? We'll put another one here. Those clouds felt so good. We'll add another one in. So already, without no effort, we have made a nice little sky. Swirl out the bottom. Blend the bottom out. Just the bottom. Don't touch the top. Do not touch the top. You want those edges of the uh, clouds. I was going to say crowds. Clouds to be nice and crisp. And then you just lift and fluff up. Circular motion. We'll bring everything together. Just like so. And there we've got it. Nice little sky. Variant of colour. Put another cloud in. Whoa. Cloudy sparkly night swirl the bottom up just like so easy peasy lift up now these are oil paints they're quite firm they're not they're not your usual quid shop stuff and i will be doing if i hadn't done so already uh, a couple of quid shop paintings which i've got planned and uh that the, it's, it's it's quite funny it really is i also have been doing uh three different scenes uh, sorry three three separate scenes of the same of the same um, the same object should i say in uh, three different mediums so uh, we've got them in oil colors watercolors and acrylics so if you've seen it happy days and if you haven't even happier days to come so the the fan brush, white paint, and all we're doing is putting some basic wave shapes on. That's all we're doing, basic wave shapes. Now there's a lot of preparation obviously with this canvas. We've painted it in different colours, we've gessoed the canvas. This was a white canvas, I painted it in black gesso. Black gesso is 
is a, a primer of sorts it allows the paint to stick this is a key way for for the thicker paint the oil paints to go on we allowed the black gesso to dry completely then we coated it in several different colors blues th thalo blue should i say uh, crimson and a bit of brown in the corners and while that's still wet that's when we could start playing playing ball right so let's put a boat in let's put a crab fisherman up here so we'll put a basic shape of a boat there we go and it's, it's just sailing past us rowing past us or scooting past us whatever it is bring some of that colour down into the sea so can make a nice little bit of reflection there now let's add some some paint to this some of these some of these boats are painted quite beautifully blues and reds and if you sweep your brush at, at a radius like I'm doing it looks like wooden planks just like so so working backwards and forwards but on this one and we're gonna have a bow so the front bow the front is the bow, the back is the stern, and we've got port side and left side, but I can't remember which one's which now. Someone please enlighten me, that'll bug me all night now. Port side and left side. So with a bit of liquid white, we're going to come and, and just highlight the bow of the boat. Maybe a little bit of shine on here. Now, they, these boats are quite wide, but quite shallow in body and they're uh, used to going out and catching crabs in all weathers <laughs> if you know what I mean and a chroma crab is a beautiful thing it's one of the most tastiest tastiest seafoods I've ever had it really is fresh from the sea while I was there I caught my own herring as well off the pier and uh, now we were too kind we just put him back put him back straight away we we don't want to hurt we just we just played for sport really okay so a couple of uh, lines across the, the body of the the boat gives the indication of some wooden planks I want the plank <laughs> just like so I can't remember what they're called they've got a special name these boats but I can't remember what they're called now with the fan brush a little bit of white on the uh, on the end of it I will just scrub in some foam foamy things some splashes where where the boat will be crashing through the water and then what we can do is just blend those foamy things out now you don't want to touch the top of the foamy things just like the sky just like the clouds but but down here in the ocean we just want to we just want to blend them out let's reaffirm some of these waves the it's a bit choppy tonight you go over if you go overboard you'll not come back now i learned a little bit of something um and now the Yorkshire coast, you know, we've got Whitby and Scarborough and, and Bridlington, Filey and all those beautiful places, Hornsey. Those those seafaring folk that live live there, they've all got the individual they they wear a big woolly they wear a big woolly jumper and the on this woolly jumper they've got the individual knitted patterns and the woolly jumper is apparently there to to drown you if you fall overboard you, you you drown apparently and when they pull your body from the sea they can identify who you are by the the pattern on your jumper that's kind of that's kind of morbid isn't it you know but <laughs> you crazy things right so let's not let this boat be like the Marie Celeste let's have some people in there so just a little bit of, of orange paint mixed with browns and yellows and we'll just put in a few little bodies in there now let's put a little head on him 
of course he'll be wearing his wet uh, his wet fisherman suit the same up to the one just there like that just a little blob there we go so we've got we've got Bill and Ben the fisherman <laughs> right he's going for this lobster pot so let's put a little boy in the water so again just just that same orangey colour that we've created we'll just put a ball in the water now with a knife a little bit of fine fine brown on the, the edge of the knife we're just scraping a little flagpole. They have little flagpoles. These, when you look out to sea, you can see hundreds of these things around, around Cromer and Sheringham and, and those beautiful places on the Norfolk coast. And they have little flags on as well. So we'll put a little red flag on. They've got to be highly visible so the the crab fishermen can go out and see them. You see, oh, by the these have got a tough job. Some splashes around at the bottom. Uh, this this little this little marker boy, just like so. There we go. And that's just white on the fan brush. Tickle him out. Happy days. A couple more splashes up here on the bow. It's really splitting the water. There you go. There you go. Let's add some back here. Melts into the background, melts into the distance. You can't tell where the sea starts and the sky stops. A couple more ash waves. There you could play all you want out here. You could you could spend hours doing this. You could really do this in hours, not just fifteen minutes like I've got today. Gotta be quick. Got dog to walk. A little bit more here. There we go. Just like so. Just like so. We're almost finished already. Let's work on this little flag. Let's put a little bit of a a shadowy colour here. Bit of a shadow colour on this side of the boy. A little bit of reflection down in water. There we go. Happy days. Now let's put a moon in. So a bit of white paint on the old finger. You see me done this a, a fair few times now. Now I could have done that in the beginning. I initially didn't want a moon in, but why not? It sound it looks like the the perfect place to put a nice moon. So that's what we'll do. Moonlit night. Whew. Beautiful, beautiful. And we'll just tickle him out with a dry brush just to give him a bit of like mist over the top of the moon that's how we rock and roll that's how we do it folks let's sign this one it's about done quite quick quite simple quite easy let me know if you want to have a go at it I wish you would send me some pictures Instagram Facebook you know the score my fantastic friends you know the score and this is a badge I picked up the Lifeboat Museum with with courage nothing is impossible so true so true so happy days my fantastic friends do take care I'll see you all later happy days <laughs>